Hi darlings, welcome back to my makeup garden, it's Liz. So I have my October ice cream beauty box here that I have not done anything with yet. So let's open it up, let's play with things inside it. So if you're not familiar, uh, ice cream beauty box is a $25 monthly subscription box. Usually features indie brands, it's kind of like their shtick, their thing. Um, and it's one of the few subscription boxes that I get. I say few, but really like it's two. Um, and this is the only beauty one. So, um, oh, oh no. Okay, that's never a good sign. <laughs> so there's a caution thing in here and it's because there's a lip plumper uh, inside. So that'll be fun. Okay, so let's open it up. So <laughs> I just opened mine. So usually there's between four and seven full-size items inside. There's a little uh, cheat sheet here. So let's look at the goodies. So. Uh, first thing I pulled out is by Moon Slice Beauty, and this says that it is Moon Slice Beauty. There's no outside indication except for ingredients. So it says that this is the uh, Liquid Blush by Moon Slice Beauty. Um, and if you're, it retails for $19. Let's see what color I got. I have no idea. I've noticed the packaging from Moon Slice is very, like, kind of generic, like, Straight across the board, it's a very pink. Let's see, I have not used this. I don't have any foundation on or anything, but I just have a little bit of mascara. Um, but, oh, okay, let's put it on the back of my hand. It's very like bubblegummy kind of pink. Wow, that's very bubblegummy. Okay, I'm just gonna, we'll just put some on. I do like to try to play with, if you're new here, hi, my name's Liz. And I, uh-oh, oh, oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. We're just, we're just going in hard, hard, hard. This is, this is going to be a lot. Um, we're just going in from the, from the jump, really just kind of going in there. You know, maybe, maybe this wasn't a good plan. I uh, know I like to use the products as I open this up, as I play with it. It's very smooth. It almost has like, um, that like, it's not oily, but it's because it is starting to dry down. I really just hope it doesn't stain. Um, but it is kind of smooth. It is pigmented. It does look like you can sheer it out. And I think, honestly, if you had um, a foundation on, it wouldn't be that big of a deal that it's pigmented. But because I'm barefaced, you know, you don't, I'm, I'm going to notice it more, obviously. Um, it's not greasy, but it does kind of have like, a greasy like see the sheen it's almost like an oil in it it's probably like some kind of oil blend that will absorb in anyway $19 it is very pigmented you saw like I used almost none of that just one little um yeah we'll see if this dries down it looks like it wants to but it's the middle of the evening so it's not going to get a lot of time to do that today but I might pop in and just kind of let you know because it's like 10 o'clock my time, is that right? Yeah, 10.30 my time. Sorry, I was looking at the oven across the way because <laughs> my kitchen's over there. But okay, so let's look what's next, $19. Um, I've not used the Rare Beauty ones. It honestly looks like it's fading a little bit. It has a little bit of a sheer, I don't know. I don't know what it reminds me of. It's a liquid blush and those are very, you know, hit and miss. I wouldn't pay $19 for it though. It seems like a lot to me, but again, I never spend that much on it, so. Okay, next we have a little Chantico Beauty. It looks like this is a pink duochrome and the theme for October, in case you're not aware, is breast cancer. It's a breast cancer awareness month, which seems like it's had less focus in recent years. But when I was a kid, breast cancer awareness month was like a thing. And now it's like, you know, kind of an afterthought. I don't know. It just seems that way. Um, but there's a little duo in here. And let's take a look at the colors. I'm going to swatch it for you guys. I will probably end up doing this when I use this when I'm doing an eye look. So the first color, this looks like it's a topper shade. I'm just going to put it over here next to the blush. Like a light pink. Looks like a topper shade. And then we've got this one here. This is also giving topper vibes. Uh, it's that sheer shimmer. 
Like if you like a natural eye look, you want like a one and done, this might be a nice one for you. I don't know if it creases or not, but I guess we'll find out. And it does have this little applicator in here that I don't prefer. I'd rather use my finger than use that applicator, but I know some people enjoy that. So it looks like that retails for $20. <laughs> okay, you can see my side eye. All right, so the next one we have a plumping. This is by Indie Beat Cosmetics. And it looks like this is a plumping lips and the shade cake. Let's see what cake looks like on me. When the cake, 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 cake. Um, and this retails for $17. So in terms of like trying new beauty products, you know, just like any of the other beauty ones, you do get a deal, so to speak, but it's like you don't have control over anything. So would you rather spend this $25 on something that you actually want? Or do you want just kind of a mystery? Um, interesting. It almost looks like splotchy, like modeled. Let's see how burny it is. Cause apparently it's burny. Oh no, don't put that on my nose. Um, it smells like cake. Uh, so this is my lips before. Okay. And let's just put this on now. I don't know how much to put on. Oh, it is spicy. Okay. We'll put it on now. Let's just see what happens. Well, it is nice and glossy at least. Cause if it, it is, it's spicy. It is spicy. That it does retail for, what did I say how much it retails for? They say it retails for $17. So while this is scorching my lips, let's look at what else is in here. So looks like we have two things left. Uh, we have a ZC Beauty item here, and this is the Glitter Liquid Eyeshadow. So Ice Cream Beauty prides itself, I think, on um, having an eyeshadow palette in every in every box, and this is no exception. We've seen ZC Beauty before in like a few different formats, but let's see what this is like. So this is a liquid eyeshadow. We've had their pencil eyeliners, black liquid eyeliners, um, glitter liner, a few things. Uh, let's see. It does seem like Ice Cream Beauty has more C Beauty brands. Um, but, uh, that's recent. Like the first five or six months of boxes that I received were not that way at all. It just seems like the last four months there's been more of that. I don't know if I'm going to keep getting Ice Cream Beauty box if I'm being honest. The color is really pretty. It's kind of like a neutrally pink. Um, oh, and it is a little brush tip liner. Let's see. Now, here's the deal. For a liner, that would be fine. But you want me to apply... You want me to apply this as a liquid eyeshadow with this... This brush. This tiny little fucking brush right here. You're out of your goddamn mind. Ain't no way. Look, even going like that. Splotchy as a motherfucker. I don't know about all that. I don't, I don't know about all that. That's not going to be all that in a bag of potato chips. I'm just going to tell you right now. Uh, that retails for $24. In what century? In what century? I can get like an Ensley Rain one that is going to fucking beam from outer space for that cost. I would never, and actually I have a brush that's usable. I would never. <laughs> This might be the one, friends. This might be the one that sends me over, like, over the thing. If they didn't do collab palettes with, like, Gourmand Girls and that kind of thing, uh, I probably would have, like, canceled before that. I think this is the box I'm going to cancel, though. Like, this is the catalyst. Last month, I thought, you know, maybe, maybe, but this month, I think, is definitely the catalyst. Uh, next, we have the Hope in Bloom palette here. Now, this is by Beauty Moon Cosmetics. And I did use, um, the other day I used this. I think it was by them, right? Yeah. So this is a duochrome, like a loose duochrome that was available uh, from a few months ago, or maybe it was last month. I don't know. I have no concept of time these days. But I put this on the eye with a purple crease, and it was beautiful, and it did not crease. Um, so just that was a good product. So let's see what this palette looks like. It does look like this palette retails for um, $35 full price. 
Um, but this is an Ice Cream Beauty Box collab palette. So this is something that they did together um, for the box. And that happens a lot with ice cream. And that was the main reason that I kept getting it for as long as I have. Because if you know me, if you don't know me, hi, my name's Liz. Uh, and I'm a beauty enthusiast, a makeup enthusiast. I like to play and I like to collect and I like to pan because I have divided allegiances to my collection. And um, I get bored with subscription boxes after like six months. And then I'm like, well, bye. <laughs> so I think we're approaching that. This has lasted longer than most. So this is a Hope and Bloom palette here. It's pink. It's October. I think this lacks depth, if I'm being honest, just looking at it. But um, let's let's swatch this. This is an interesting shade. Oh, it, it feels really nice, though. Looks like this is a hollow. Oh, it is. It looks... It looks as though there are holographic sparkles. All right, let's see what we got. That was a shade Hope. We have Chance, which is this pink. I do like to swatch. Let's do that. There's Chance. That's pretty bubblegum. That would have been very on trend for like this last year. This is Faith. More of like a cool toned, like... But honestly, that's a really pretty color. Um, prayers, thoughts and prayers here. I don't know if I picked up enough of that on my finger. Oh, it's interesting. It's like a pearlescent finish. I don't see that a lot, actually. In indie palettes, I see a lot of very sparkly. I don't see a lot of pearlescent. Interesting. Okay, and last, well, not last, but here's Bloom. I say it's not last, but there's one other one that looks like it could be a satin. This one has some orange in it which it's a little bit more sheer though. If you can see it on my finger, it's got some gold. It's kind of hard to pick up. And this shade Charity looks like, or Clarity, excuse me, looks like it has some multi, oh, we'll do this, we'll put it right there. So it's like almost like a satin or like a more traditional shimmer formula. So yeah, these are the shimmers in this palette. It's definitely a vibe. The pearlescent is calling me, I think. I think that's an interesting color. That one's called Prayers. But let me grab a brush because there's no way in hell we're gonna be able to use this one with this brush, but maybe we can use it as a liner. Um, just so you know, the burning on my lips, it has continued. It has not, it has lessened slightly. Um, I don't, I feel like they're pinker. Um, I don't know how plumped they are, but they do look uh, pinker. So, yeah, it's the abuse. It's the abuse that I've put them through. <laughs> okay, let me grab a brush because I haven't washed my brushes <laughs> as per usual. Um, I am struggling. Okay, let's grab this one by BK. No, that might be too fluffy. We'll see. And one errant hair. How dare you brush? Okay. So I think I want to go into the shade Loved. Maybe we'll put this. Oh, no. Maybe we'll do this. Maybe we'll keep it kind of neutral today. What do you think? So we're going to go into the shade Comfort here. And I'm just going to... It looks pigmented. That's a good sign. We like that. We like that in a matte. Like I said, I'm not wearing anything on my eyes. I just have a little bit of um, mascara this is the Blend Bunny one, like the Omni Lash, I think they call it. You know, the one that's like, it's just a good mascara. It's just a good mascara. It's not crazy like anything in terms of like performance, but it's fine. It's just a good mascara. And honestly, I think it was $8 when I bought it, which is cheaper than a L'Oreal mascara, mascara these days, so. I think the L'Oreal, the last L'Oreal mascara I bought was like $11.99. So might as well get it from an indie makeup company. All right. So this is a pigmented shade. Um, Not the easiest one to blend out. Like it doesn't blend itself like some other mattes out there, but it is a pink shade. And I think it's worth noting that that is not uncommon in a pink shade. For me anyway. That's just been my experience pinks and like darker colors are like that for me okay so 
it's a pretty color. It's very almost peachy. Okay, so let's grab another brush and let's go ahead and go into the shade Warrior here. But actually, I'm not gonna use that one. I'm gonna grab this one by Unearthly. I like the shape of these, they're short. If you like a super long handle, you're not gonna like these because they are like short, but I feel they're so lightweight. Like if you have a hard time holding things, it might actually make it easier for you. Makes I, I don't know, my little crabby claw fingers here want, enjoy the shape of these, okay? This is a shade Warrior, which is that like deep, like brown brick color almost. See if we can get it to blend out here. I'm just gonna apply this to my outer corner, I think. And then I, th I kind of want to play with that pearlescent shade. Now I'm not gonna use a primer today. Um, normally if I've tried a formula before and I've seen how it wears, that's when I like to use a, a glitter primer because it is my go-to for like every day. Um, it's not doing a bad job. Let's just put it that way. For how cavalier I'm applying it. You know, not the easiest shade, but also not hard to blend. Just just a little bit of zhuzhing and it went on just fine. Um, but anyway, um, I don't like to put on a glitter primer the first time I wear a formula because I just kind of like to see how it does on its own. And sometimes you just have a formula that doesn't really need it. I do have these creases in my eyes because I am 38 and I, you know, have seen life. These peepers have seen some shit, so. Um, and with that, the shape that they are, it's just kind of nice to, you know, not crease as soon as you put eyeshadow on, so. Okay, I do really like how these colors came together. I think that they are playing really nicely tonally, so. I do have like this spot that wants to bald, like not stick right here. That's not the eyeshadow's fault, that's just my eye. It's a thing that's been happening, you know? It's just a spot where my eye is like, <laughs> we're not cooperating right here. So, okay, love. I actually think that is quite lovely. All right, so I kind of, I wanna, uh, of course I wanna touch all the sparklies, but I do wanna touch that pearl shade. So we're gonna go into prayers and I'm gonna use my finger, I think. Um, maybe we'll do one eye with my finger and then one eye with a brush. So here we go. Let's do that. Let's see how it does. Cause I don't think I've ever used the Beauty Moon palette before. I've gotten a couple of like miscellaneous things over the years, but I don't think I've consistently ever used just the palette. So I'm gonna take this BK brush. This is a 205, which has like a slight angle, um, but is the closest clean eyeshadow brush that I saw. And I'm just gonna go into prayers here and see how it plays with the brush. Okay, pretty. It's um very subtle with the brush without being wet. But I think actually if you want a really natural, kind of one and done sheer, like little, you know, wash of, of some kind of subtleness, this actually might be quite pretty. It reminds me of an old formula of shimmer. Is it, it's not Urban Decay's old shimmer formula. It reminds me of like, an old school, maybe an old school ABH shimmer. I don't know, it's really subtle. See, very subtle. For perspective, let me use my finger on the other side, which this does look like it wants to hard pan already. Um, could just be me, but let's see. I have just found using my finger is the best policy for shimmers. It just works the best for me. This is pretty, it is subtle. It's it, This would be a work-friendly look, you know what I mean? Little wash of color, kind of romantic, you know? Not bad, I do like it better with the finger than with the brush though. Okay, did I go into the wrong shade? No, totally, I went into the right one, okay. Yeah, definitely better with the finger than the brush. 
and the the for, the shimmer formula feels smooth. It feels like emollient almost, but not wet. Okay. Yeah, just like a little romantic, romantic pop. I do think it would be fun to put this shade on the inner corner. So let me grab uh, like a small brush that I can use for that. So I love a bright inner corner, like a hot diggity damn Liz, what did you put on your face inner corner? But you know, it's, it's the middle of the night and we don't need to do that. So we're just playing. Right now we're just playing. All right, so I'm gonna take this BK Beauty brush. This is a 207. And I'm gonna go into the shade Hope, which was that first shade that we swatched. Let's just see how it looks. Yeah, that's pretty. Just, just a little something, you know? It's actually more vibrant than the camera is letting on. I don't know if you can see it at an angle or what, but it actually is very sparkly. It's a very sparkly color. The lighting in here is really weird right now because I have like my like ring, well, it's not a ring light, it's got like dual, but um, that's basically the main source of light in here right now. And I feel like it's kind of washing stuff out a little bit, but yeah, I think that came out really cute, actually. That's quite cute. Um, let's see about using that Chantico Duo on my brow bone. So let me just keep this palette out because it has a mirror. And let me grab that duo. Where'd I put it? There it is. I don't, it, oh, I wonder if this is magnetic. It doesn't look like it has a little pop out, so I'll have to see. But I think I'm gonna go into this shade here and I wanna use this on my brow bone. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that on this finger. And let's, let's just play with it. Let's just, yeah, it's very bubble gummy. Mm. Catch the light just a little bit there. We're kicking it bright on the brow like it's 2016. Back before I was really into makeup even. Wow, that is too much. <laughs> and let's go into this shade here, the other shade. And maybe we'll just tap that on my cheek as a bit of a highlighter. Let's see. If you hear grunting, I'm babysitting my sister's dog. And he's like a 16-year-old wiener dog. He's in, such an old man, though. Like, he's... He can't hear. Can't see shit. He wobbles around and his nails go, click, you know, clickety-clack on the tile. Okay. Uh, don't love that as a highlighter. But don't hate that either, either, either. Uh, it's very glittery as a highlighter. Um, but yeah, I don't think it's bad. I don't like duos like this, generally speaking. Um, I think storing them is kind of a pain in the ass and it makes them hard to use. They do not appear to be magnetic. So that it might be worth dissecting this just to see if I can get them out. Um, but it doesn't appear that they're magnetic. So... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I think maybe this will be my last ice cream beauty box. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna pause it and then we'll see what next month is. And if it's more like moon slice, that kind of thing, then I'm kind of like, mm. The pink palette, I think this is fine actually. This performed nicely. The shimmer is very subtle without a glitter primer. And I would be interested to try this with a glitter primer just to kind of see the difference in the uh, the appearance of the shimmer, you know? This is a pearlescent shade, which I don't see very often in palettes anymore, so. Um, but I do think it came out really pretty. It's kind of romantic. Even if this doesn't have the depth that I would prefer in a palette, um, on my skin tone at least, it works fine. If you have darker skin than me, then maybe it wouldn't, um, unless you had to put more work into it, you know, like a primer or an undercolor, that kind of thing. But, um, for my skin tone, it showed up okay. But yeah. Anyway, that's Ice Cream Beauty Box. I'm not sponsored. I'm just Liz. And, um, that's it for tonight. I love your faces. Thank you for being here. I know I've been kind of like all over the place, but I, I'm having a really hard time juggling things right now. And I'm not sure how to carve out more time. Um, uninterrupted time to film. 
Uh, I'm still trying to figure out how to juggle that with my littles now with our schedules. So I'm trying. But anyway, I love your faces. Thank you so much for being here and for liking and subscribing. And I will catch you on the next one. Bye.